Um, I think I should just start off by pointing out a number of matters. The first is this, that Diane Abbott made a racist and offensive comment. That's the first point. And and there really is no hiding place in relation to that. Now, uh, the real sadness is that she has single-handedly diverted attention away from the very serious debate that we have been having this week about racism and Stephen Lawrence. If Diane Abbott was white and had made that comment, she would have been fired. Um, that's the first point. She, she remains in her job because she is black, and she knows that, and we know that. Now, uh, having um, gone to Cambridge University, and she has a degree in history, uh, one might have thought that she would use her words very carefully. Um, she didn't. She could have said, some whites, she did not. And that sweeping, offensive generalization of uh, white people is completely and utterly unacceptable. But moving on, the... the do, do you, I mean, given, for the purposes of argument, if she had been white, you say she would have been fired. Yes. Given that she has said what she said afterwards, which uh, is being interpreted as, a, as, an, as an apology by most people, is it right that she should stay, having made that mistake? Well, um, answering that question, um, is this a career-defining moment, for example, like Suarez uh, or John Terry? Um, probably not. Should she stay in her job? Well, I can't answer that, but what I can say is this that she is one of the very few black MPs and minister. Uh, were she not black, and if we had a lot more, I would probably have said um, she should be fired. But we need her in her position. I mean, let's be frank. She is a hypocrite at times, isn't she? <laughs> isn't she? Isn't she? Um, there's, there's are, are you saying this is exceptional in relation well, to the human race in this not sense? Not exceptional, but she, she does have a wider responsibility beyond herself. And she has one rule for Diane Abbott and another for other people. And that is completely unacceptable. And somebody mentioned that she'd apologise. Well, yes, she did, after she'd been forced to apologise. And so she has apologised. There we go. Should she keep her job? Well, that's a matter for others, not for me. On, but, the, on uh, the broader question, which is in, in Nafisa Sayani's mind, uh, the open and explicit debate about racism, is it, in your view, one that is conducted and is a healthy debate in general, or is it one that, is, that her case suggests, as our questioner asks, is not possible to have? Well, it, it's... I was going to say complete and utter nonsense to suggest that it's not possible to have... Um, an open debate. Of course you can have an open debate, but Diane Abbott was not having an open debate. You don't have an open debate by tweeting. Um, <laughs> I mean, for heaven's sake, um, th that is not an excuse that she can deploy. Um, if she wants to have an open debate, she has a very good track record when it comes to racism. She knows what to do. That was not a debate. It was offensive. It was a generalisation. She was not talking about uh, harmony. She was not talking about um, trying to have a society which is colourblind. She was being deeply offensive. And there is no excuse, irrespective of colour. And the reason why she's in her job at the moment is because she's black. So she owes her job right now to the fact that she, she is a woman of colour. Stephen Tweed. She... <laughs> 